Have you ever pondered about the mysteries of the universe? About our consciousness and our connection with the divine? If so, you are not alone. Throughout the ages, philosophers, scientists, and spiritual thinkers have sought to understand the profound link between the physical and spiritual realms. And today, we will delve into this fascinating subject through the lens of a small, pea-sized gland nestled deep within the brain, the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a tiny endocrine gland found in the vertebrate brain, often referred to as the third eye. This isn't a physical eye that you can open and close at will, nor does it perceive the physical world as our two optical eyes do. The third eye is a symbolic representation of an invisible eye that opens our vision to the supernatural, to a realm beyond our physical senses. The notion might seem far-fetched or purely metaphorical, but it's an idea steeped in antiquity. The pineal gland and its association with the third eye are found in various spiritual traditions around the world. In the Hindu tradition, it is likened to the Agna Chakra, the command center of our spiritual vision. In the ancient Egyptian tradition, it is associated with the Eye of Horus, a symbol of protection, royal power, and good health. Such universal recognition across cultures suggests that there is more to the pineal gland than meets the eye. But what makes the pineal gland truly fascinating is its purported role in a phenomenon known as clairvoyance. Derived from the French words clair, meaning clear, and voyance, meaning vision, clairvoyance is the ability to perceive things beyond the normal range of human senses. This is not about predicting the future or reading minds, but about awakening a deeper level of understanding and intuition, a kind of sixth sense. Some believe that clairvoyance is a natural ability that resides within us all, a function of the pineal gland that can be awakened and developed. Imagine this tiny gland as a button. When this button is pressed or activated, the doors to an expanded consciousness swing open. A consciousness that transcends our ordinary perception. A consciousness that connects us with the spiritual realm. What does it mean to connect with the spiritual realm, you ask? It is about discovering a deeper sense of self, understanding our place in the universe, and connecting with the divine. It's about transcending the physical world to access wisdom, insight, and guidance that exist beyond our ordinary senses. Does the idea of activating your pineal gland, opening your third eye, and exploring the world of clairvoyance excite you? If yes, then you are on the threshold of a transformative journey. A journey that will deepen your understanding of the self and the universe. A journey that will lift the veil off the unseen world and unveil the mysteries of the divine. On this journey, you will discover that you are more than just a physical being, that there is a spiritual dimension to your existence that is waiting to be explored and experienced. So, buckle up, as we dive deep into the mysteries of the pineal gland, the third eye, and clairvoyance. This journey is not for the faint-hearted, but for those with an open mind and a thirst for knowledge. Those who dare to step outside their comfort zone, challenge their beliefs, and push the boundaries of their understanding. For those who are ready to embark on this journey, the rewards are profound. A deeper connection with the self, the universe, and the divine. Let's delve deeper into the concept of the pineal gland, often referred to as the third eye. The pineal gland, a tiny structure, is located deep within the brain, almost at its geometric center. It's a fascinating organ, not just because of its location but also because of its unique roles. Although it's just a tiny speck in the vast landscape of our brain, the pineal gland is a powerhouse, as it is believed to balance the two hemispheres of your brain. It's like a master of orchestra, ensuring each section plays in harmony creating a symphony of brain functions. Now, imagine the pineal gland as a meeting point. A meeting point between the physical and spiritual realms. It's like a bridge that connects these two worlds, a bridge that, when traversed, opens up a whole new dimension of experiences. So, essentially, the pineal gland acts as a switch, a switch that, when activated, illuminates a path that leads us to an expanded sense of consciousness. Picture it, a tiny button nestled deep within your brain that can open up doorways to a realm beyond our physical senses. It's a fascinating idea, isn't it? 
but it's not just a mere idea. Eons of spiritual practices and philosophies have attested to this theory. And modern science has begun to explore this possibility too. Recent research indicates that the pineal gland might play a crucial role in the production of a chemical known as dimethyltryptamine or DMT, which is often linked with mystical and spiritual experiences. So, how does one activate this magical button? And what happens when we do? When the pineal gland is activated, it's believed to open our third eye, our spiritual eye. This is not the same as opening our physical eyes to see the world around us. It's about opening our spiritual eye to perceive a world beyond the physical, to experience a different dimension of reality. It's like wearing a new pair of glasses that enables us to see the invisible, to understand the incomprehensible, to feel the unfathomable. The activation of the pineal gland and the subsequent opening of the third eye is said to lead to experiences of expanded consciousness. What does expanded consciousness mean? It means stepping out of our ordinary, everyday awareness into a deeper, broader, and more profound state of awareness. It's like shifting from watching a black and white television to a high-definition color television. The world remains the same, but we begin to perceive it differently. We start noticing the nuances, the subtleties, the deeper meanings that were previously invisible to us. But why should we care about expanded consciousness? Why should we venture into the depths of our minds and open our third eye? The answer is simple. Because it leads us to a fuller, deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Because it enables us to live more consciously, more meaningfully, more purposefully. It's like discovering a new language, the language of the universe. A language that speaks not in words, but in symbols, signs, and synchronicities. A language that communicates not through logic and reason, but through intuition and insight. And when we learn to understand this language, we begin to perceive a unity, a oneness, a connectedness that underlies all existence. We begin to see that we are not separate from the universe, but an integral part of it. So, in essence, activating the pineal gland and opening our third eye is about awakening to our true nature. It's about transcending our physicality to touch the essence of our spirituality. It's about stepping out of the limited self to embrace the limitless self. But this journey is not a one-off event. It's not like flipping a switch and suddenly finding ourselves in a state of expanded consciousness. It's a journey, a process, a gradual unfolding. It's like climbing a mountain. We can't leap to the top in a single step. We have to take one step at a time, slowly, steadily, persistently. And as we climb, we begin to see the world from a higher perspective, a broader perspective, a clearer perspective. And when we reach the top and look around, we realize that the climb was worth the effort, for the view from the top is truly spectacular. We see the world in all its glory, in all its diversity, in all its unity. And we realize that we are not just a part of the world, but the world is a part of us. As we delve deeper into this intriguing journey, it's important to understand what it means to have this broader perspective, this spiritual vision. You see, this vision we speak of is often referred to as clairvoyance. Now, clairvoyance isn't about predicting the future, as it's often misconstrued. It's about an awakening, an awakening of spiritual vision, an awakening of intuition. It's about perceiving the subtleties of existence that are often invisible to the physical eye. Clairvoyance, often symbolized as the flowering of the third eye, is a state of insight, where one can see beyond the physical layers of reality into the metaphysical undertones. It's like being able to see the wind, not the effect of the wind, but the wind itself. This kind of perception leads us to a more profound understanding of the nature of things. It's like viewing life through a microscope and a telescope simultaneously. You can see the tiniest details, yet you can also appreciate the broader panorama. Now, you might wonder, what are the benefits of clairvoyance? How would seeing the wind help me in my life? Well, the benefits of developing clairvoyance are manifold. Firstly, it enables us to understand ourselves better. We can delve deeper into our subconscious mind, bringing to light the hidden aspects of our personality, 
the unacknowledged parts of our identity. We can reconcile with our shadows, and in doing so, we can become whole. Secondly, clairvoyance helps us understand the world around us better. We begin to see the interconnectedness of all beings and realize that we are not isolated entities, but part of an intricate web of relationships. We can understand the dynamics of these relationships and navigate them more harmoniously. But how does one develop clairvoyance? Is it a gift, or can it be cultivated? The answer is both. Some people are naturally more intuitive, more sensitive to the subtle energies around them. They are like antennas, able to pick up signals that others can't. But that doesn't mean the rest of us can't develop clairvoyance. It's like any other skill. The more you practice, the better you get at it. So, how do we practice? There are many ways to develop clairvoyance, but the most important one is to cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present, being attentive, being conscious. It's about observing without judging, perceiving without interpreting. It's about being open, receptive, and curious. One of the most effective ways to cultivate mindfulness is through meditation. Meditation is not about achieving a state of trance or transcendence, but about creating a space of presence, a space of awareness. It's about quietening the mind so that we can hear the whispers of the universe, the whispers of our soul. Another way to develop clairvoyance is through the practice of yoga. Yoga is not just a physical exercise, but a holistic discipline that unifies the body, mind, and spirit. The word yoga literally means union. And it's this union, this integration, that opens the doors to clairvoyance. It's also important to focus our attention. Our attention is like a spotlight. Whatever we shine it on becomes visible. So, if we want to see beyond the physical, we need to shift our attention from the gross to the subtle, from the mundane to the mystical, from the ordinary to the extraordinary. Lastly, patience and dedication are key. Developing clairvoyance is not an overnight process. It's a journey, a journey that requires commitment, persistence, and perseverance. It's like hiking up a mountain. The journey might be arduous, the path might be treacherous, but the view from the top is worth every step. So, let's embark on this journey. Let's explore this fascinating landscape. Let's awaken our clairvoyance and see the world in a new light, a light that illuminates the unseen, a light that reveals the unknown, a light that transcends the visible and touches the invisible. In addition to practices such as mindfulness, meditation, or yoga, there are other ways to stimulate that small, cone-shaped pea at the center of our brain, better known as the pineal gland. This gland, which holds the potential to unlock our clairvoyant abilities, can be influenced by our lifestyle choices, including our diets and the amount of sunlight we receive, among other things. Our diets play a pivotal role in activating the pineal gland. Certain foods are known to calcify the gland, impeding its functioning and thus our ability to develop our clairvoyant abilities. These include processed foods, sugars, caffeine, alcohol, and fluoride found in tap water, all of which are best avoided. On the other hand, consuming more fresh, organic fruits and vegetables, especially those that are dark leafy greens or are high in vitamin K, can help decalcify the pineal gland. Similarly, certain supplements can also aid in the decalcification of the pineal gland. These include turmeric, apple cider vinegar, iodine, garlic, and raw cacao, among others. It's always best to consult with your health professional before beginning any new supplement regimen, as what works for one person may not be suitable for another. You might have also heard about the importance of sunlight for our overall health and well-being. This is absolutely true, and it applies to the health of our pineal gland too. Exposing ourselves to sunlight, especially morning sunlight, can stimulate the pineal gland, thereby promoting its health and enhancing its functioning. This isn't about sunbathing for hours, but rather about getting regular, sensible exposure to natural light. It's important to understand that these are not magic bullet solutions. They are simply tools that we can use to create an environment conducive to the activation of our pineal gland and the development of our clairvoyance. Just as a gardener tills the soil, 
plants the seeds, and waters the garden to create an environment conducive for growth, we must do the same with our mind-body system. It's also crucial to remember the significant role our mental and emotional states play in this process. Stress, fear, anxiety, and negative thinking can all create blockages in our energy system, hinder the functioning of our pineal gland, and obstruct our clairvoyant abilities. Therefore, it's important to cultivate positive states of mind, such as love, joy, peace, and gratitude. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, our clairvoyant abilities can serve as a compass, guiding us towards greater wisdom and balance. With clairvoyance, we can tune into our deepest instincts, tap into our inherent wisdom, and perceive the subtleties of our environment. We can navigate our life with greater clarity, make more informed decisions, and engage more authentically with ourselves, others, and the world around us. It's important to remember, however, that clairvoyance is not about escaping the world, but about engaging with it more deeply. It's not about rejecting the physical, but about including the spiritual. It's about expanding our perspective, opening our vision, and seeing the world in its totality. And when we can do that, we can live more harmoniously, not just with ourselves and others, but also with nature and the universe at large. So I invite all of you to embark on this journey of self-discovery and self-realization. Explore the depths of your being, awaken your clairvoyant abilities, and see the world with new eyes. Remember, this journey is not a race, but a pilgrimage. It's not about reaching a destination, but about enjoying the journey. It's about being present, being attentive, being conscious, and most importantly, being yourself. For it's in being ourselves that we can truly see, and it's in seeing that we can truly be. And with that, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell to receive all the latest teachings. Together, let's explore the unknown, unravel the mysteries, and unlock the potential that lies within us. Let's awaken our third eye and see the world in a new light, a light that illuminates the unseen, a light that transcends the visible, and a light that leads us to truth, wisdom, and freedom. We have been exploring quite a bit about the pineal gland and its role in our lives. Let's delve a little deeper into the concept of the third eye or the Agna Chakra. This is a term that originates from ancient Indian spiritual traditions. Agna is a Sanskrit word which translates to command or perceiving. The Agna Chakra is located in the middle of our forehead, slightly above the space between our eyebrows. It is regarded as the sixth of the seven primary chakras in the human body according to Hindu philosophy. The third eye is said to be the seat of intuition and foresight, a gateway to higher consciousness. It provides us with a vision beyond ordinary sight. When we refer to opening the third eye, it isn't about the physical act of opening an eye on our forehead. Rather, it's about accessing our innate wisdom about perceiving beyond the physical world and developing clairvoyance. But you might wonder, how do we develop clairvoyance? How do we open our third eye? The answer lies in practices like meditation and mindfulness. When we meditate, we bring our focus inward. We cultivate a state of stillness and silence which helps us to cut through the noise of our everyday, busy lives. It creates a space for us to tune in to the subtle inner voice of our intuition, our inner wisdom. In this space, we're more likely to perceive and understand the symbolic messages that our intuition communicates to us. Mindfulness, too, is a powerful tool for developing clairvoyance. Being mindful means being fully present in the moment, without judgment. It is about observing our thoughts, emotions, and sensations as they are, without trying to change, suppress, or hold on to them. When we practice mindfulness, we cultivate an attitude of openness and acceptance towards ourselves and our experiences. This helps us to see things more clearly, to perceive things as they really are, which is an essential aspect of clairvoyance. For centuries, yogis and sages have practiced techniques such as Trataka, gazing at a single point or object, to help open the third eye and develop clairvoyance. This, coupled with breathing exercises and yogic postures aimed at stimulating the area of the third eye, 
can greatly assist in activating the pineal gland and fostering clairvoyance. These practices, however, require patience and dedication. Opening the third eye is a process that unfolds gradually. It's not about forcing an experience or seeking a particular outcome. Rather, it's about allowing ourselves to become more aware, more receptive, more connected. It's about providing the right conditions for our natural clairvoyant abilities to emerge. Furthermore, it's essential to approach these practices with a sense of curiosity and compassion, rather than judgment or expectation. We should remember that our journey of developing clairvoyance, of opening, our third eye, is unique to each of us. So rather than comparing our experiences with others, we should focus on our own journey, our own growth, our own understanding. Another important aspect to consider is our intention. Why do we wish to develop clairvoyance? Why do we wish to open our third eye? Is it to gain special powers or to boost our ego? Or is it to deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world, to live more authentically, and to contribute to the well-being of all? Our intention greatly influences our journey, and it's crucial to ensure that our intention aligns with wisdom and compassion. As we navigate through the complexities of the modern world, the role of clairvoyance, the significance of the third eye, becomes even more pronounced. Our abilities to intuit, to perceive beyond the ordinary, can help us make sense of this complex world. It can help us navigate our life with greater wisdom, balance, and grace. Remember, each one of us has the potential to develop clairvoyance, to open our third eye. So let's take a step towards uncovering this potential, towards cultivating this extraordinary ability, and towards witnessing the world in a whole new light. Let's take a step towards becoming more aware, more conscious, and more alive. Let's take a step towards seeing the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown, the visible and the invisible. Let's take a step towards embracing the totality of our being and the totality of existence. As we delve deeper into this journey of awakening our inner perception, it's essential to understand the different practices that can stimulate the pineal gland and aid in developing clairvoyance. Meditation and mindfulness, as discussed earlier, play a significant role. However, there are other ways to stimulate the pineal gland and activate our third eye. Yoga, for instance, complements meditation and mindfulness practices beautifully. It is a holistic discipline that focuses not just on physical postures but also on breathing exercises and meditation. Specific postures and breathing techniques are designed to balance the energy centers in our body, the chakras, including the third eye, or Agna Chakra. This balance helps stimulate the pineal gland, opening us up to heightened states of consciousness and intuitive understanding. While practicing yoga, our focus should not merely be on the physical execution of a pose. Instead, we should aim to harmonize our breath with our movements, bringing our awareness to the sensations in our body and the energy flow in our chakras. This mindful approach to yoga aids in stimulating the pineal gland and developing clairvoyance. Another practice that helps in awakening our third eye is focused attention. It's about training our mind to concentrate on a single object, thought, or activity at a time. This practice helps us cultivate a deep state of focus and clarity. When we sustain our attention on a particular object or thought, it brings our mind to a still point, allowing us to penetrate its surface and perceive its deeper realities. This is a crucial aspect of clairvoyance, to see beyond the obvious, to understand the underlying dynamics of life. To practice focused attention, we can start by choosing a quiet and comfortable space where we won't be interrupted. We can choose an object of focus. It could be our breath, a word or mantra, a candle flame, or anything else that resonates with us. Our task is to keep bringing our attention back to this object whenever we notice our mind wandering. This practice helps us develop the ability to sustain our attention, which is essential in stimulating the pineal gland and developing clairvoyance. While cultivating these practices is crucial, so too is the nurturing of our physical bodies. Our diet plays a significant role in the health and functioning of our pineal gland. A clean and balanced diet, rich in fresh and organic foods, can enhance the functioning of the pineal gland. Avoiding processed foods, 
artificial additives, and excessive caffeine can contribute positively towards this goal. Another significant aspect is sunlight. Our pineal gland is sensitive to light. Regular exposure to sunlight, especially in the early morning or late afternoon, can stimulate the pineal gland. The light triggers a series of biochemical reactions in the gland, which can lead to enhanced states of consciousness and intuition. The journey towards awaking our third eye, towards developing clairvoyance, is not a quick or easy one. It requires patience, dedication, and consistency. There might be times when we may not perceive any immediate changes or benefits. However, it's important to remember that these practices are gradually working at deeper levels of our being, helping us tune into our innate wisdom and intuitive capabilities. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's increasingly essential to develop our clairvoyant abilities. By harnessing the power of the third eye, we can navigate the complexities of our world with greater wisdom and understanding. This inner sight allows us to perceive beyond surface realities, connecting us with the subtleties of our environment and tuning us into our deepest instincts. As we honor and nurture our clairvoyance, we're not only developing our intuitive abilities but also paving the way for a more harmonious, balanced, and insightful life. This path allows us to embrace our fullest potential and facilitate a deeper understanding of ourselves, others, and the world around us. So, let's continue to nurture these practices, to patiently and consistently cultivate our clairvoyance, to awaken our third eye, and truly see. Remember, this journey is unique to each one of us, and every step we take brings us closer to becoming more conscious, aware, and alive. This journey that we've embarked on to awaken our third eye and develop our clairvoyance is not just about enhancing our psychic abilities. It's about much more than that. It's about living our lives more consciously, more fully. It's about cultivating a deeper connection with ourselves, with others, and with the world around us. It's about gaining a broader understanding of the intricate web of life and navigating our way through it with greater wisdom and balance. In this modern world, where we're constantly bombarded with information and distractions, developing clairvoyance holds more significance than ever before. It equips us with a tool to cut through the noise and tune into the subtleties that most people miss. It enables us to perceive the nuances in our environment, the undercurrents in our relationships, the subtleties within ourselves that often go unnoticed. With clairvoyance, we can tap into our deepest instincts and intuition, allowing us to make decisions aligned with our highest good. It helps us bypass the cognitive limitations of the linear mind and connect with a more expansive, intuitive mode of understanding. This not only helps us achieve more in our personal and professional lives, but also contributes to our overall well-being and satisfaction. The power of clairvoyance lies in its ability to see beyond the physical, beyond the forms and appearances. It allows us to perceive the essence of things, to tune into the energy and vibrations that underlie physical reality. This ability can be an incredible asset in our lives. It can help us perceive opportunities that others miss, understand people at a deeper level, navigate through complex situations with ease, and make decisions that are in alignment with our inner truth. As we conclude this journey, it's important to remember that developing clairvoyance is not a linear process. It's a journey that unfolds in its own time and rhythm. There might be times when we feel like we're not making any progress, or we may even feel like we're regressing. However, it's crucial to remember that the path to awakening our third eye and developing our clairvoyance is not about reaching a particular destination. It's about the journey itself. It's about the wisdom we gain, the insights we uncover, and the transformation we undergo along the way. The practices that we've discussed, meditation, mindfulness, yoga, focused attention, a balanced diet, and sunlight exposure, are tools that can aid us on this journey. They are not quick fixes, but practices that require commitment, patience, and consistency. The more we engage in these practices, the more we will start to notice subtle shifts in our perception and understanding. And over time, these little shifts add up, leading to profound transformations in our consciousness and life. As we round off this exploration of the pineal gland, the third eye, and clairvoyance, I encourage you to persevere on this path. 
Listen to your intuition, trust your journey, and remember that every step you take is bringing you closer to realizing your innate potential for profound insight and understanding. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found it insightful and wish to delve deeper into such subjects, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Remember, this journey is a personal one, unique to you. I hope that this information serves as a starting point, a guide, to help you navigate your own path of awakening and transformation. Keep exploring, keep questioning, keep growing. Until next time, take care and keep shining your light.